Hello, church. How are you doing? How's your soul? Uh, a few people have asked me how I'm doing uh, recently with all of the changes and the stress of the pandemic. And um, I've said, boy, I just want to get on my motorcycle and ride off into the sunset. And uh, although that's, that's true figuratively, I certainly did not mean that literally. I'm doing great. Uh, yeah, it's a stressful time uh, learning how to do church online. Uh, no, uh, no pastor signed up for that, uh, but we've had to do that. And then learning how to integrate people back into live services and, and doing all we can, but still seeing just uh, uh, less than half of our normal attendance because a lot of people uh, feel it's safer to stay at home and, and, and accommodating that as best we can. It's been a challenge uh, with all of the changes that we've had to implement here at at New Day um, has been a challenge, but you know what, I'm doing great. As to riding off into the sunset on my motorcycle, I, I am very grateful that this year has been a tremendous year for motorcycling. Um, in spite of the pandemic, I, I was in Florida at the end of February, ministering at a church uh, there, and um, the church is just north of Fort Lauderdale, and so I, added a few days to my trip and rented a motorcycle in Fort Lauderdale and rode all the way to Key West, which has been a lifelong dream of mine. And so riding over all of the bridges down to Key West and staying the night, riding back a day later, it was just a gorgeous time and a great opportunity. Uh, so it was a bucket list I got the uh, item that I got to check off. And, and then um, uh, in June, I was able to ride the motorcycle all the way to Tennessee which is a long ride, but Tennessee is a beautiful motorcycling state and uh, had one whole day that I just rode through the Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Parkway and then spent a week ministering and teaching at their school of church planting and ministering at two of the churches and the Kaleo churches in Tennessee and then riding back. And then in July, normally we take a vacation as a family uh, to the, the UP, but this year because of, you know, kids all have jobs now and and things are different. Kathy was working, couldn't get the time off. I just rode to the motorcycle myself all the way up to Copper Harbor, which is a stunningly beautiful uh, trip and encourage you to do that. So um, listen, uh, don't misunderstand when I say uh, things like that. I am committed. I'm not going anywhere. I've been ministering here for over three decades and uh, I am excited about what God's doing in our church and at New Day. I'm excited about of this how's you uh, the soul search series and and developing the language to answer the question how's your soul uh, where where's your relationship with scripture how's your relationship with others how's your upward uh relationship with god hearing god's voice uh journaling uh, worship and prayer and the general life uh how's your life the issues of life affecting your soul uh, this is good stuff, and um, I believe it's going to give us a language and a metric, a me way to measure where we are spiritually so that we can build genuine uh, community and a discipling community. And I do encourage you to plug into the new community groups, both at Nichols and in Vandalia. Um, it's going to be a very, very important aspect of being part of the church to build relationships, and, and we're really working hard to make this something that's sustainable, uh, meaningful, uh, and uh, available. So we have Zoom groups, we have in-person groups. Uh, we're gonna meet, uh, schedule the groups in a way that doesn't overburden people. Really encourage you to plug in. Last thing, just to touch on, some people have asked about the Vine building. Um, one of the changes uh, that we had to make uh, is no longer having the Saturday night service. Um, and uh, it was unfortunate that we had to end that service, but we have lots of plans for that facility and God has clearly called us to minister in the Vine neighborhood. And it's been a desire of my heart to have the ability to minister consistently in that neighborhood. And so we're gonna take a rest uh, during this particular time till we get through some of the unknowns of the pandemic. We're coming up with plans of how we can use that facility and our members to reach that community in meaningful ways. And I'm excited about that, that God's gonna do good things through us 
uh, in that neighborhood. Um, we are called to minister to that neighborhood and that's not changing. Just how we reach that neighborhood and what we do to minister the gospel, the message of Jesus Christ, um, uh, life, death, resurrection, and, and the salvation that is available through faith in him. We're gonna minister that in Vine. We're gonna to continue to minister that to the people in the neighborhoods around the Nichols building. We're getting better and better at uh, reaching out and the reach team and uh, um, uh, have come up with lots of great ideas. I'm gonna be doing some outreaches. And uh, of course, our commitment may, continues to uh, the Cass County area of Vandalia and the people that live in that community and reaching them and Mark and the lead team and Vandalia are perfectly exploring different ways to reach the communities. And so God's called us to be a church, to reach our communities and also to nurture and grow those who call this their church. And I'm, I'm excited and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be your pastor and be part of this um, exciting journey of ministering the truth and i encourage you to plug in you know <clears throat> i regularly talk to other pastors some on a weekly basis others several times a month there's uh, i just counted in my mind there's actually eight ministers that i uh, connect with at least once or twice a month uh, just to keep my soul in check that's the other category my relationship with others and there's people that i can go to and receive counsel and instruction and encouragement and just uh request their prayers we need to be part uh, of a faith-based community and so i encourage you to be part of new day and plug in as much as you can because you get out of something proportionate to what you put into it and so through the small groups, community groups, through services, whether you attend online or come in person, um, plug in and God's going to meet you uh, in and through the relationships that you develop. All right. God bless you. Uh, this has already gone too long. Um, just wanted to communicate and keep in touch. Love you all.